Hello everyone, Rin Senpai here, and today, sponsor video by Motokawa, a store that specializes in Japanese fashion, like, you know, kawaii, kakoi, cute stuff, cool stuff, you know, Japanese day fashion, there you go, that's the word I'm looking for. This video was actually supposed to be a Halloween haul for a Halloween promo, but we had a little shipping mix up, so. The items still arrived, so I'm still gonna review them because I got more than just Halloween things. They gave me a budget to go on their store and put some things together, and I have some outfits that I picked up. Some of them are Halloween themed, so it's gonna be spooky scary for a moment, but we'll go back into doing other things. Although, I kinda dress like a casual goth anyway, so... <laughs> so check them out, link in the description below. My code works with them, I believe it's about... I can't remember how many percent. Here it is. That's how much you can get off if you use my code on their website. So give them a look. So I'm gonna have two cameras going. There's a mirror just down the <laughs> So I'm gonna have two cameras going. We'll have this one where I talk to you guys. There's a mirror down the hallway. So if I do this, right, I go down the hall and voila, there we go. I need to know where to stand. Perfect. This will be the base of where I start and We'll start with the simpler outfits first. The mic quality on the phone is not as good as this microphone, obviously, so hopefully you guys are okay with that. Let's start with something simple. Socks! <laughs> Here's some Ichigo socks. Strawberries. Ichigo. Cool ankle socks. Um, they go on your feet. I don't know if you really need to see that. And let me know. I'll post the photo somewhere. <laughs> I want to just show off like the actual clothes here. Come on, guys. So let's start with this. This nice robe, it's got the sun and the moon all around the edges. It's like a little, uh, it's like a long cardigan jacket thing with sleeves. The thing that I like about it the most though is that it's got very long sleeves. I like to wear my sleeves over my, just kind of like over my hands a little bit, if possible. I have lanky ass arms though, so don't normally find sleeves that can do that. There. I like it. I like casual little things like this. And then when you put the hood on over yourself, there. Now, I look like your mom, who isn't really into internet subculture, would tell you to stay away the heckin' away from me. <laughs> so, I kinda just like it down anyway. I don't know, I don't normally like to wear the hood. I just like having the hood kinda just like on the back anyway. So, let's see what it looks like in full. All right, there you go. Look at that. It was passed down to here. It looks cute, I like it. Maybe even get like a nice little belt to go with it, but I think this will. I think this is good on its own. Perfect. Look at that. Yeah. You like this look? Guys, calm down. It's okay. <laughs> I like it a lot. I probably wear this out quite often, actually. I just want like something casual to wear. I don't know if you can call this casual though, but hey, that's still pretty cool. Nice. Moving on, the next simpler kind of thing too. Oh yeah, all the links. I don't know if they'll actually... I can try to provide the links. I noticed that when I was looking for... These things on the website, they got taken down. These might have just been on sale for like a one-time thing, so they might not be there anymore. But Christmas is coming up, so if you like Christmas things, there's probably a lot of festive and cute things you can find on there. All right, the next one is another hoodie kind of thing, but it's very long, so it's like a dress at the same time. Very punky though, if you're really into like chains and hooks and holes and zippers and the cross. God, obviously I'm a very big church boy. <laughs> now there's a reason why I put this outfit on because along the sides here are these really long zippers that go all the way up to under your armpit. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this. I'll show you. It's a bit weird to put things on when you have a wig. Oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Look at all these crosses I'm wearing, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> so once again, you can put the hood on if you want. I'm not much of a hood wearer. I like to just like have it draping off the back there. This also comes with a belt but I'll show you the point of the belt in a second. Let's go to the mirror. So as you can see here, it is long like a dress. Right, it goes past where my shorts are. If you zip it all the way down here. But that's the cool thing. Now check this out. With the belt that comes with it, you can raise it up to a higher waistline and then just open the slit of this shirt to look more like a, you know, like a nice, just, show off your thigh if you want kind of dress so i don't know it looks it looks okay oh yeah these sleeves they have uh thumb holes in them if you're really into that kind of thing i'm a 32 year old man so i you know this is kind of beyond 
the legal age limit for me to do this kind of thing. I'd probably pair this with like some boots and I think that'd be it actually. Maybe a lower cut shirt actually to go here. Unless I want to zip it up, but I don't know about that. Nah, yeah. Let's go lower cut shirt maybe there. I can even do this side. I, mean, I think this angle is better for me. I don't know, but anyway. I like it. I'm not sure where I would wear this. Probably for like a party or something. I don't know about just around on the town. It seems like something that you would wear on Halloween. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Anyway, there's this. It's cute. I like it. How do you like it? You like this? Should I wear shoes with this video? I don't know. Don't worry. It's not going to be completely all like goth hour in this video. Oh yeah, the next one is just one more simple thing. It's just a, just a mesh, uh, a long mesh robe coat thing. I, I don't know what you can say. You can wear this over anything. This is like just casual. Probably not with the outfit I'm wearing now, but to the camera. You could probably wear this with like a pretty dress, a fancy dress or something like that. Or just like a, you know, slightly less edgy looking outfit like what I'm wearing, so. I like it though. I have ideas for this thing later that I could wear this with. Not appropriate for YouTube. So maybe follow my Instagram here or Twitter and then maybe I'll post what I had intended for this later. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, moving on to an actual outfit now, sort of. Half an outfit. So part of the Halloween campaign, there's this sweet orange shirt with bats on it. And that bat's kind of, you know, round, so it could be like shaped like a pumpkin. It's a very wide open neck though. So you could go for like off the shoulder kind of looks with this thing, or just go for like low scoop neck with this. With that, I got this one particular wig. It's orange, because I wanted to do like a, just like a, a pumpkin look, I guess, for Halloween. Um, so I'll pair these two together. I'm gonna keep my shorts on though, because that's kind of what I do. I'm gonna do this top and that wig. Speaking of wigs, Motokawa does wigs too. If you're looking for wigs, they're really, I'd say they're a really good place to go for like normal hairstyles or, you know, cosplay hairstyles. This is like, this is like kind of in between. This is no character in particular. It's just a gray wig from another store. But anyway, let me go get changed real quick here. Wow, I'm a pumpkin with bats. Am I a pumpkin? I don't know what I am. First of all, this wig. Uh, the wig, the bangs with this wig, they come pretty short actually, which I like because most of the wigs I get, they come with pretty long bangs so you can cut your own, but I am not good at using shears on wigs. So I appreciate that this uh, comes quite short and it's soft, but as with, you know, as with a lot of new wigs, hair starts falling out the moment you pull at it and it takes a while for it to like settle down. That's the only thing about this, but otherwise, I think it's a cute way. It kind of reminds me of uh, a character from Revue Starlight. Sukasa? I believe Tsubasa or Sukasa, I can't remember her name, but kind of like her hairstyle. So I might be able to use this for other things other than just like a Halloween wig. As for the shirt, it fits. It's nice and like uh, loose for, you know, for people like me who has, you know, obviously man-shaped body, loose clothing like this that can help hide curves is a, it's good, that's a good thing. <laughs> so let me take you to the mirror. And there's this, something simple and cute. I like to coordinate my colors together, so hair and shirt, orange, orange, and then the rest is black. So I think this is a nice coordinate to put, and I would just, you know, wear simple just shoes with this thing, so there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think this is a good look. What do you guys think? Comments down below. Hell yeah. Pumpkin time. But Halloween is over, unfortunately, so maybe I'll save it for next year's Halloween. Anyway, moving on. Ah, before we move on to the next outfit, because it's going to be an entire wardrobe change, I got two other wigs along with Motokawa, so let's try this other wig on. It's a pink, white wig. Once again, all their wigs come with wig caps, so if you order a wig from there and you don't have a wig cap, don't worry, they got you covered. I mean, you need to wear a wig cap when you wear a wig anyway. It just it just makes sense. This is not the wig cap anyway. This is the hairnet that goes over the wig. So you can store it better without it like getting tangled in a bunch of other things and stuff like that. There's another wig, nice long length, I think. Yeah, the color in the camera will make it look white. It's actually like a lilac, kind of like light pink, light purple color. Very soft. And there you go. I didn't really have to comb out this wig too much because it was just nice and straight. Ha 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 ha. 
I slipped the bangs to the side though for this one. I don't know what I would wear with this. Um, unfortunately, the only things I can think of are the slightly not safe for YouTube things once again. <laughs> Um, but hey, at least I have something for it now. This is definitely a costume wig. I don't know. Maybe you could maybe I could wear it out It's 2019. It's gonna be 2020 pretty soon. Who cares? Uh, but I like it. It's cute. It feels soft. It's done intrusive. It's Nice, so if you need some wigs, Motokawa's got some more speaking of one more wig with them. I decided to get a brown wig. I don't have any normal hair colors. <laughs> I don't have anything I can wear out without getting attention for having, you know, a natural hair color, so I decided I should try to just get one that I can wear. So if I wanted to go grocery shopping, let's say I finished a video but I didn't want to get changed and I just needed to go out and get something real quick, I can just slap this wig on. Much easier. I can just get through my day without having to talk to anybody or see anyone, so. I'll show you what it looks like. There you go. Something very not, you know, what's the word? I don't want to say basic. I don't want to say normal either. It's low key. It's, I think it's still very cute. Look at this. I like this look on me actually. It's quite nice. I have an outfit for this though, but let me just go over the wig again. Once again, you know, new wigs, hair just everywhere. There's hair all over my face. Got to comb it out for a while. And then eventually it'll, it'll settle down, which is yes very soft. I can run my hands through it and it just feels, oh, so nice. This is the last thing I got with this pot. Wait, hang on. It's this other thing. These glasses. They're not practical for anything. So you got little things on there, but hey, they're still cute. You can get little cute accessories like glasses and things from them. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Kawaii desu ka? <laughs> There's this thing that's supposed to hang from it too, except I don't know exactly where to I don't know where to put this, or how to put this on here. I'll figure it out later. Hello, cute kawaii anime girl right here. Hello. Hello. Thumbnail? Thumbnail? This is thumbnail now? <laughs> there you go. Um, glasses, they have lots of accessories on Motokawa as well if you want to get some. I don't know what else to say about that. Okay, anyway, next thing. <laughs> next thing is this cardigan. It's got a little, what is this? I think this is a raccoon, or fox, I can't tell. As you know, my general aesthetic is either all black and gray, or schoolgirl uniforms. I like pleated skirts, I like blouses, I like blazers. It's just a very, very nice look and I like it. I'm gonna get some of my schoolgirl stuff together and put together an outfit that can go with this brown cardigan, so I'll be right back. Hi, random high school girl here everyone, Coco say, yeah, Coco say? Yes? <laughs> Can't remember. How about my glasses? Will they help? Now I look like student, what is, class president, yes, or student, I don't know, what class, school thing. Okay, to the mirror. This is as school as it gets. It's a nice little, there's a nice little tail detail with the fox here. Or is it a fox or raccoon? I don't know. The only thing about this is the sleeves are kind of short and the hem goes like right here, like all the way down to here for some reason. Another uniform look for me. How is this? <gasps> Let me get the shoes. Now I can relive my high school days. Hooray. <laughs> Except as a high school Japanese schoolgirl. Yes! Yeah. And that's all the stuff I got from Motokawa. So if you guys like Motokawa, you can't really click the screen, so all the links down below once again. Motokawa, use my code, can't remember the discount code off the top of my head, but it'll be there. Get all kinds of cute clothes, wigs, accessories, you name it. If you like this fashion haul video, let me know by hitting the like button, leaving some comments. What was your favorite outfit? What are other things that I should try? And uh, subscribe if you're new here. In fact, if you made it to the end of this video and you haven't subscribed yet, come on, click the subscribe button, just do it! Do it now! Do it now! Do it now! I swear to God. And once again, thank you Motokawa for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!